Normally when you play a first person shooter you see enemies and you want to run from them because you're scared because they're going to shoot you and you have to take cover. This is not that game. Oh, hells yes! You're dealing with mutants, you're dealing with crazy large guns, and you're dealing with the skill shot system. You have to look at one enemy and figure out what is the best way to maximize the amount of points I can get out of this guy using a combination of my weapons, my abilities, and the environment. It really forces you to think differently about how you play a shooter. You like that shit? Because our game is really about the skill shot system and skill points, everything in our weapons is supporting you being kind of a creative madman. The Peacemaker Carbine. It's a gun that can unleash a hundred bullets on your foes, liquefying them into a skeleton. It can also shoot them and take them out in a traditional manner. The flail gun. It's basically two explosives attached between a chain and you throw it at somebody. You can wrap it around their neck, you can wrap it around their legs, kick them up in the air and then explode them. Oh, epic flail! The bone duster. Every game needs a shotgun and this game has a four. Yes. One, two, three, four. Four-barrel shotgun. Do I need to say anything else? Oh, actually smell bitter on the inside. The bouncer. Bounced into oblivion. The bouncer's like this giant cannonball launcher. You can throw out this ball that just barrels across the battlefield like a cannonball, but you can also unleash it as a repeated explosive device that will sit there and pound the ground like a pile driver. And the minigun. The minigun in Bolt Storm is basically an extension of Grace's penis. Suck it! What the fuck? Stay cool. Let's keep talking. We definitely want to make sure to save some of the best for last. We have a number of really cool and unique weapons that we're going to be hopefully talking about soon. You're kidding me. I am not. Then fire! Multiplayer, multi, multiplayer. You work together, you kill together! We have cooperative and competitive multiplayer. On the cooperative multiplayer side, we've got Anarchy. You and three of your buddies playing together to get team skill shots to go through a series of waves with progressing difficulty. There's the competitive element that we see in Echo Mode. We've got the best, juiciest moments of a single player campaign, and it's just all about you and the weapons and skill shots. And you compete with your friends on scoreboards to try to, you know, maintain dominance as far as who can get the most skill points on every echo. Score! There is always a moment where you realize you're in complete control of the battlefield. The moment you stop playing a shooter and start playing Bulletstorm.